What's going on you guys? Freeze Rainbow here. Welcome to today's video. Oh, lots of water out here. As you can tell, I'm at my grandmother's for the first time back. Um, yeah, it's been a long time since I've done a video out here. Yeah, as you can tell, my Polaris, no freaking track on it um, due to some technical difficulties back in the winter time. So, for the first time in a long time, we're going to see how well this bike can go. My dad did take it out. Uh, last time my dad took it out, as you can see in the last clip, there was an awful lot of snow here still. But, uh, yeah, I can't wait to give this a good run after for five, I think it was five, six months of sitting. So, she's going to get a good run today after five, six months of sitting. Ooh, my fucking seat looks like shit. Ooh. Water in the thin. We're going to see if she'll start. Oh, my fan going. Let's see if she'll go. Oh, my need choke. I need to choke. She has been sitting for quite a while, so. So let that run for a bit, I guess. She was a bit chilly this morning, so. And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to check the oil in this thing. My dad told me to check the oil, and I forgot. I can't remember where the sight glasses is on this thing. To run a choke for a bit. Uh, sight glasses off the dirty. Uh, she's about halfway there. I don't know if you can tell. Sight glass right where my finger is. Can't never. I can't see on camera. And as you can probably tell, sorry for the bad quality. Um, let me fix the camera. Uh, yeah, sorry for the bad quality, guys. You know, it's probably a bit blurry. I don't know what's going on. This camera, it's trying to focus, I guess. Um, yeah, so I am using my Android for this. Um, there's, that's some good news and some bad news. Um... So yeah, so for, I have Flamora on my phone. My phone's an Android, so I'm going to be trying that out today. Uh, the technical difficulties that I have, or not technical difficulties, but the good news and bad news is, the good news is I got lots of videos for you, and especially on my phone as well. Uh, the bad news is that my computer decided to break on me. Not break, but uh, everything got swiped, lost everything on my computer, like for Windows 10 and everything, so I'm unable to post videos, unless my brother is more than generous and kind enough to allow me to use his com computer just to post the old-fashioned way on YouTube. So, maybe cross your fingers, my brother might be nice enough to let me use his computer. So, I'm hoping so. But, uh, yeah, so for now, there might be a slight delay in the videos. Um... I always, I always make sure to twist that. Other than that, um, I'm gonna try and do as much as I can on the GoPro and as well on here. And yeah, let's see how see if she'll move. But first, before I even do that, I'm gonna check my fin here. All right, first time the quad mounter has really moved in about oh, I say about a good five six months. Dad left in four-wheel drive because I guess there was a lot of snow back when he moved it. Well, I got some brakes. 
Electric uh, fan works, that's always good. They got brakes. Drink of that water out of here. See if she'll move. Not bad, not bad. I'm trying not to rip up the shield here. Almost put uh, 5k on this thing. I don't know how the fuck you say that. 4900, 49,000? I don't fucking know. Fucking steering's a bit stiff. I don't want to rip up the yard, so I gotta be careful here. Park beside my uncle's bike. Come on, get into neutral. Why is it not going into neutral? Or is it is it in neutral? Oh, please tell me the light's not acting up again. Okay, there we go. It just didn't want to go into neutral for a second. Still running on choke. Not bad, eh? For running for five, you know, for about five, six months. Not bad, not bad at all. So, uh, I guess we'll end there here, and I guess I'll see you guys out in the trails. This is, guess, part one of uh, my video. I do want to put this as multiple clips, so I'm hoping Flamora for the Android will work. I haven't even tried the program out yet, so I don't even know how well of good of a program it is. Android version, so we'll see what happens, and I guess we'll only hear for now. Alright guys, as you can see, I'm in the field as usual. Um, I took it for a quick spin off camera. She seems to be doing pretty good after five or six months. I do apologize for not doing a video on camera, but I will be doing that very shortly. As you can see, we got an awful lot of water here. There's a bit of a small flood, but not bad. I just went there off camera. The water's about up to the motor, so I will do a demonstration pretty quick. So, pretty deep. I'm only going to do this once, and I ain't doing it again. So, I'm going to show you once how deep it is. Get a cold firm with the camera. I don't know, let's see if we get a good footage here. But up to the border, tell roughly how deep it is. So I only did that one little demonstration. She is awfully not deep, but I don't even want to put my bike through that, so... Since I have you guys on camera here, let's do a little bit of a tour. I do apologize for the really bad wobbliness in the video. It's because uh, I'm on the trail and it's pretty bumpy here, so... Please bear with me until we get to the smooth area. Awful lot of water there too. Pretty mucky there because I've already been in there. Because <laughs> there were hauling logs or something out here, I just gotta be careful. As you can tell, there's fresh tractor tracks here. I will be doing videos on the GoPro, but th there is going to be a delay on the videos. Depending on if Liam will let me use his computer, I don't know. I'll uh, have to ask him.
Not bad for sitting after five, six months or so. Not bad. Sitting part of the winter time. Show you the flood here. So as you can see, there's water here. Normally the water is a bit back. Usually right around here is all grass. But with the amount of rain and the melting of the snow, yeah, she's up farther than what she normally is. So <laughs> I'm surprised this whole trail ain't flooded because there is a bit of a, a creek bed, I guess, over there too. So. Not bad for sitting after five or six months. Awful lot of water in the field, as you can tell. Let's go see what the old fort is like. And I did go to the uh, the fort that I'm making now. Uh, there is some damage, but not overly bad. I already did check. Nothing I can't fix. Easy fix. So that's good, I guess. I will show you guys thereafter. It's hard to, sh it's hard to shift the big boots on because as you can see, I get big boots on. <laughs> How deep is it over here? Ugh. Ah, I got just a whack by a tree. <laughs> uh, if it's too deep here, I ain't fucking going in here. Okay, guys, so I must have pressed the button and caused my clip to mess up a little bit, but. Uh, I was over at the old Ford, as you can probably tell, and water is almost up to the motor. Not bad, but I'm actually quite frankly shocked that the Ford is pretty dry out there. Just the trail part's a bit flooded, but not bad. But, uh, yeah. Let's get out of here for a second. Almost up to the motor. Burled a little bit, not bad. We'll see what that other trail is like. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Uh, I wouldn't want to try to drive the bike in the yeah, she looks pretty deep there So I'm not even gonna fucking try that if I want to see what it's like. I'll probably go in from the other side So let's turn around and see what it's like It's hard to shift these boots so And this bike does need a wheel alignment done uh, because as you can see my steering is a bit slanted. It's supposed to be roughly right here. But it's kind of like in this type of shape, but I am driving straight. Like, I'll show you. You can tell the steering is a bit slanted, but I am going straight. So this uh, bike need, does need a wheel alignment done.
shifted when I didn't want to. It's kind of hard to... Because I'm used to having my foot under the shifter when I'm ready to shift, but I wasn't ready to shift at the moment. So, yeah, it's kind of tricky with big boots on. I'm going to downshift here. Uh oh. Accidentally neutral. I'm going to be super careful because this isn't my feel. Well, obviously, because I wouldn't be able to afford something like this. <laughs> but no, my grandpa or my grandma do not, do not own this feel. It's owned by uh, my dad's uncle, uh, which lives across the road. He owns this part of this property and in he wants us to be careful because, you know, we don't want the field to be all muddy because then he wouldn't be able to uh, harvest uh, hay out here if it's so thick of mud, right? And he wants the grass to grow. So, you just got to be super careful, otherwise it kick us off the property. We don't want that. I'm going to park it here, and we'll see you guys probably on the GoPro, maybe.